Hi, I'm Jim and this is Jim's Fix-It Shop. And today I'm not going to fix anything. I've got a lot of questions for you to help me with because I'm not really sure what to do with this stuff. Uh, first question, shirts. People have been asking me if I sell shirts. I never plan on selling anything. Um, I did change the logo that's on here. It doesn't say subscribe anymore. This is the logo that was on my YouTube channel that you touch to subscribe to my channel. The one that we come up with is similar to it, but it says Jim's Fix It Shop, JNR Woodworking. It doesn't say Jim's Fix It Shop across the top. Or JNR Woodworking across the top. Let me know what you think. What would you like? How would you want it to look? If you want one with it on there, I can get it made with it on there. If you want one without it, we can do that. I get them made one at a time. I don't have to order a hundred of them. Second question. Videos on a flash drive. I've had a lot of people that want to buy my videos on a flash drive. There again, it's same with these shirts. I will sell the shirts for what I have into them and that's it. The shirt cost and the cost of shipping it to you is all that's going to be charged. Flash drives, the same thing. The cost of the flash drive and the cost to ship it to you. I think I can get them both in a $7 priority box from the mail from the post office. The flash drives. What should you sell them for? I have no clue. And should I put blocks of 50 videos on a flash drive, 100 videos on a flash drive, or all 250 on one? Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think it'd be worth to sell them for. I have no clue. I never intended on selling things to people. I have some giveaways that um, I don't want you to forget about. I have this kit from Briggs & Stratton to repair the issue they're having with the kingpins. When you hit something... The tire will either spin in or out because the linkage on the top is not gripping the kingpin securely. This is a kit to repair that issue. I so far have one subscriber that has subscribed to win this. That's all you got to do is send me a picture of you and your snapper or your turtle. So I know you have this machine, and you're registered to win. You want to send that to my email address, not the box below these videos. That way no one will see it. Uh, second giveaway. Now this is going to be given away at the end of June. You have one more month. The end of July. I'm going to finish giving away the second package from Dick Dykehouse. Uh, this is a, a company that sells products for uh, machining, whether it be wood woodworking or metalworking. I think most of it in here is metalworking, but it's any part or item that you could possibly need for running a machine shop. Now what we've got is I've got shirts either in black or gray and you have a choice of a medium, a large, extra large, or 3x. I don't have any 2x but I'll ask Eric tomorrow if he has any. The size you pick will unfortunately determine the color that you get because I've only got one in each color. Um, I've got a bunch of stuff in here. 
that he gave me. We're going to give away a couple of can cozies, uh, uh, camouflage and a blue one goes with my Pepsi. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm not supposed to say that. Sorry, Eric. Uh, going to get a couple of them. You're going to have a choice of these hats. They're both camouflage, but one's a little darker in color. Uh, pick out the one you want. Um, a nice heavy stocking hat. I wore mine when I was snow blowing this winter. Might want to save that till next winter. We have a couple of nice ballpoint ink pens. My wife loves these things. I had to get her a couple. And we have a couple of pickup tools. These are magnetic. If you drop something, you can pick it up without bending over. Like, who wants to bend over? Where I use mine the most <coughs> is when I take the nut off of my arbor on my table saw once in a while I drop it down inside this is a new cabinet table saw so I can't just reach under and pick it up off the floor anymore it's inside of the machine so I have to use mine to get it out and the nice part about it you twist the end and there's a light in there that comes on so you can see down in that cabinet saw to find the nut these have a film over the battery. You have to open it up and take it off. That way when you get it, the batteries won't be dead. You're going to get two of these. Very nice. I, like I said, I have one, but I had to buy mine from Menards. I, he's going to give you two of them. We have two pairs of safety glasses. Please put one in your car and one in your shop. If you happen to have to jump somebody, I've seen a couple cases where batteries have exploded from hooking the cables up incorrectly. And uh, one gentleman I know had battery acid in his face and eyes, and he kind of knew where there's a water spigot at the house, and he had to crawl and find his way to wash out his eyes. Uh, very dangerous so please wear safety glasses when you hook up and unhook a battery charger so that takes care of this stuff I had a viewer that sent me an idea all I know him by is Old Navy he said I bought a 2019 classic snapper you lucky guy I'd love one but he says, I want to put a blank on it, but I don't know where to really mount it or how to wire it up. Well, he sent me a link, and I went to the website, and I found what he was looking at, and I ordered them. And I'm going to mount one on my snapper, and I'll show you how to wire it. And I did say I ordered them. Because I ordered two of them. And when we're done, we're going to give one of them away. So we've got a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, unfortunately, not going to be able to do any videos. Not this week anyway. And uh, I ordered them parts. Hopefully they should be here tomorrow. Tomorrow will be Friday. And if they do come in tomorrow, I will somehow clean a hole and do a video this weekend on installing that. You're going to want to watch that. Uh, I don't know why I never thought of it. My other tractors, I have a large Ingersoll garden tractor that holds all these different attachments. It doesn't just cut the grass like the snappers do. It has one of these items on it and it is very useful. So Keep watching. You're going to want to see that. You may even want to win it. Who knows? Uh, let me know what you think and help me out on some of these decisions because I have no clue. So don't forget to subscribe. Uh, share some of these videos with a friend. 
And uh, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And until next time, remember to work safe, have fun, and I'll talk to you soon. So long.